Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this session on cyber security. So in this session we are going to look at forensics auditing as well as anti forensics. So first of all let's look at forensics auditing. So it is also known as forensics accounting. So what does this include is it includes steps needed to detect and deter fraud. Okay so the forensics auditor uses latest technology for examining financial documents and investigate crimes like frauds, identity theft, securities fraud and insider trading etc. Okay. So and forensic auditors are responsible for detecting fraud, identifying the different individuals involved in committing the fraud, uh, collecting evidence, presenting the evidence etc. Okay. And the government departments or agencies, they can use the forensic auditing and auditors to cope up with the compliance with regulations governing payments of grants or subsidies. Okay, so that is forensic auditing, nothing major. So next topic is anti-forensics. So these are set of techniques and tools that will help the attackers. Okay. So the attackers will use the anti-forensic techniques to make uh, to make it difficult for the forensic investigators for uh, investigating the crime that is in gathering the evidence. So you can see here anti-forensics is the uh, practice of applying different techniques on the digital evidence to invalidate them okay, from being submitted for judicial review. So there are four categories of anti-forensics. One is data destruction. Second one is data hiding where you can use uh, techniques like steganography for hiding data. And another third technique is data encryption. And last one is data contraception. Okay. So like security, anti-forensics is a combination of people, process and tools. And there are several anti-forensic tools which are available in the market. Uh, so what is the use of those tools is they are used to eliminate specific files to overwrite deleted data to hinder or thwart recovery and working with system files like registry. Okay. So here by doing that cyber power criminals exploit the fact that forensic takes time to gather the evidence uh, perform examination and analyzing the evidence it involves a lot of time okay and by using anti forensic technique anti forensic techniques they will try to uh, make the time of investigation very large okay so you already know that modern os and applications generate huge amounts of data so some other points about uh, anti-forensics, some general points. So nowadays employees who are working in the organizations, they are being provided laptops by the company itself. Okay. So sometimes those laptops or systems provided by the company, they might be used by employees, family members and even friends. Okay. In such cases, the sensitive company information might get stolen or deleted. Even if the employee doesn't know that this might happen, it might uh, actually, actually happen. Okay. And there are several tools which are available to eliminate records of computer system use and other sensitive data. So the, when the forensic investigators stay, uh, examine the laptop, they will not be able to know who accessed the computer. And these are all some of the examples for anti-forensic tools. And we are going to look at a specific tool called Metasploit Anti-Forensics Investigation Kit. Okay, so it's a software which provides tools like TimeStorm, Slacker, Transmogrify and Sam Joseph.
So let's look at each one of those tools. The timestamp tool can be used to modify the file attributes like the last access time, modification time, extension, etc., etc., data creation, all these things. So owner of the file. Okay, and transmogrify, this can be used to change file signatures. Like one example is changing the file extension. And Sam Joseph, it's an advanced tool which helps attackers to prevent evidence from being created. And the last tool, Slacker, it can be used to hide file data within the Slack space of the file system. Okay, so these are all the different tools which are a part of Metasploit and a forensic investigation toolkit. And the technique data hiding, uh, it involves Use, use of bad sectors on the disk. Okay, so what does the data hiding tools do is they changes the status of a sector from good to bad and then after changing the status from good to bad they will place the data in that sector. Now when the investigators are using forensic tools uh, the tool will skip the bad sector which is having the data. Okay, and thus they will not be able to gather evidence. So this is something about anti-forensics, that's it, thank you.